Hi, it's Pastor Harley Wheeler with the Broadway United Methodist Church. I want to share with you uh, a devotion today. I'm just reading one verse out of chapter Luke, verse 22. It's a Holy Week verse. It's a verse looking toward the events, the Last Supper, uh, the betrayal, the arrest, the crucifixion, and on Sunday we celebrate the resurrection. And Luke 22, 20 says, And likewise the cup after it eaten, he lifted it, saying, This cup is poured out for you, is the new covenant, in my blood and so jesus is at supper with his disciples and he takes a cup a cup we don't even know what kind of a cup it was whether it was very beautiful carved engraved or simply as as it is said the cup of a carpenter but he takes the cup and he's and he he does something amazing not only um do we have the Last Supper instituted? But if you consider how we wish the, the world was different, how we'd wish the, the culture would change, and we, and we were all the time about, uh, about the direction things are going, we forget that we can add new things to this world. We are creative beings. We are, we are called of God, and God will give us ideas to express his love and his grace all the time. And Jesus set a great example, something far above we, what we will ever be able to do. He took a cup. And he took bread and he made them mean something different that they had never met before. His new covenant. It's definitely a new covenant. This is not uh, something in the law of Moses. It is not something spelled out, <clears throat> spelled out in the Psalms. But he would take the cup and the bread and we would know that when we share that cup and bread, we are sharing in Christ. He calls it his body and his blood. And the covenant that is ratified by the blood of the sacrifice is his blood and it is, it is his cup. We walk forever knowing that he has given us a new way of, um, of, of finding, finding our peace with God, of walking with him in fellowship, of drawing from him uh, the power and the strength and the love we need to serve him. So remember that cup and his covenant to you and be blessed.